Hi guys, as part of today's lab, we will connect a matrix keypad as you have here to this embed board so that we can look at the output on this seven segment display. Now in the lab number two, you had looked at the seven segment display. So I have done the same connections again now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the matrix keypad connections which are in front of you here and I am going to connect it up to the board that is the embed board here and we will then look at the interface that I explained in the previous lecture in the code on depending on which button we press here what output we get on the seven segment display. So now just a quick revision. When we look at the matrix keypad here, the leftmost pin that is my thumb, the leftmost pin is row number one and the rightmost pin that is my index finger is now my column number three. So it's R1, R2, R3, R4, C1, C2 and C3. So now the connections that we were going to make here was that we had the PTB1 or PTB8, I'm sorry, PTB8 was column number three. So we were going to connect this up like this. So Column number three is the one right here that is the green wire. This green wire is column number three. The white wire is column is row number one. So now all I'm doing is I'm inverting this like this. So this is now my column number three. So the green wire which was column number three I will now connect to PTB8 which is the first terminal then I will take column number two and connect it to PTB9 which is the second wire here and serially then I keep connecting the other terminals one by one in serial order so then I take connection number so this is my column number one and I put it into the next pin this takes some time so please bear with me so we have connected the first three columns now we have four rows to connect so let's take row number four, which is the red wire. This is row number four. If you are still wondering where the matrix keypad is, this is where the matrix keypad here. So this was column number four, column number, uh, sorry, column number three, column number two, column number one. Then we have row number, that is the red wire, that is row number four, which will be connected to PTB 11 which is the next one so keep connecting this up in serial order and then we have row number two and row number one connected to PTE 11 and 13 so if you look at this connection very carefully here I have connected this up and now let's see how this works so now I have my matrix keypad right here and I have my seven segment display here I have done the connections let's look at the program so as explained by me in the lecture and the TA must have showed you how to write this program in the 
online compiler. So you have this program, go ahead and compile it. After it compiles, it will download. So you open it, you copy the program in the embed folder, paste it. After it's done, don't forget to press the reset button. Now, initially you will get the number eight, means all of them are glowing. So let's go ahead and press a button here. So if, if I press button number one, it shows one, that's great. If I press button number two, it shows two. Now let's try button number nine, which is this one. Press nine, You'll ha you might have to press it a little hard. If I press button number eight, it shows eight. Let's zoom in a little bit on this. Let's bring it closer. If I press button number five, it shows five. Button number six, it shows six. Button number four, it shows four. So now we've interfaced the matrix keypad with the seven segment LED. In the next lab, we will see how to interface this matrix keypad with a character LCD which will be part of the next lab. So you must go through the fundamentals of the LCD, the program for the LCD and then we shall come back to this lab in the next lecture. Thank you.